narcissism, being gluttonous, being we impressed are window with myself. All we need to do is the full world falls of apart gossip. around us. From luxury yachts to fancy People sports cars, or promiscuous philosophy. Envy and the is the one of the most really Shakespeare in the flesh. Walt Disney. An explosion of violence People and anger. Love it. How much more do you need? I mean, seriously. So we're, we're now at our last episode, and uh, this is a recap of the series. This is a recap of all of these diseases of the heart. And remember, the whole process is that we're trying to learn about the diseases, the spiritual diseases that are actually causing difficulty in our own lives and will cause us immense difficulty on the Day of Judgment. And one thing I just want to remind myself and remind you of, this is a lifelong process. There's going to be ups there's going to be downs. There's going to be times in which I'm going to remind myself that uh, eating that extra hamburger is gluttonous. And there's going to be a time in which I fall short and I indulge in it. But as long as I have this consciousness built inside my heart, inside my mind, and as long as I have an objective that I'm trying to walk towards, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us tawfiq in dealing with these ailments. Remember, these ailments at the end of the day, the ailments that we've gone through, they're just cramping my quality of life. They're hurting me at the end of the day. All of these diseases are going to cause difficulty in my life. And so if I want a sound, beautiful life that is in accordance to the spiritual purity that our Prophet Muhammad lived that will enter me into the greatest of paradise, the greatest levels of Jannah, in which there's no tiredness, there's only happiness, then I have to go through this process. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, Qad aflaha man tazakka, that the victorious, the ones that have got it, are those that purify themselves. And our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala ali, the oh the purest of the pure, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala ali, the perfect sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alayhi, creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He told us something so fascinating and everything he says is fascinating. He says that verily in the body is a lump of flesh. If it's sound, if it's in good health, the whole body will be in good health. But if it's corrupt, the whole body will be corrupt. And he said verily it's the heart. If my heart is in good spiritual health, then alhamdulillah, everything will be okay. If not, then I'm only going to hurt. And we went over a few diseases of the heart and we're going to just review them. Narcissism. We went over gluttony. We went over my love for materialism, always wanting the latest and greatest gadget. We went over gossip, feeling like empowered when I speak bad about other people. And how much of my day is filled with gossip? Why? I'm only hurting myself. We went over greed. More, 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 more. I want more. Why? I'm not going to take it with me when I return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Emir of Kuwait recently passed away, leaving behind $15 billion of personal wealth. We talked about Jeff Bezos being worth $200 billion. That's not coming with us in the grave. That greed is not going to benefit me. But if I spend it in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if I spend that money, it's going to make me happy in this world. And in the next, we talked about anger. Anger is one of the children of arrogance. I only show my anger openly to someone who I think I'm better than and can openly do it to. And who's it end up harming me? It gives me high blood pressure. It gives me the sense of jitteriness. It hurts me. And then I hurt others because I can't control an impulse inside my body. Lust, something that we said, the shahwa, the desire that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala naturally put in me to want to be with my wife in the halal someone that I love. But if I overextend it, 
it then becomes something that destroys my life. I become a slave to a body part. Think about that. Is that what sort of life I want to live? That I'm a abd, I'm a slave to my private parts? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that. We talked about envy. Oh my goodness. Always being jealous of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given others and not wanting them to have it. Why would I do that to myself? Do I just want to sit all day thinking about what other people have and what I don't have? What sort of emotion psychologically and spiritually, if I partake in that, am I harming myself with? Why would I put myself through that hell? No, I want to get that out. No, I want to get rid of that. I don't want to be a slave to my envy. I want to be a abd to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to taste true freedom in the love of God and his messenger sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala ali. And we talked about arrogance, right? The worst of all sins, seeing myself better than others. And we said that if I have that in my heart, I'm then barred entry into paradise. All of these diseases at the end of the day are just destroying me. All of these diseases, if I throw myself into them, if I indulge in them, I've just become a slave to myself. And once I become a slave to myself, I will taste the worst sort of life that any human being can taste. But if I become a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if I become a lover of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi, if I go through this path of spiritual purification, which requires diet and exercise that we've been talking about, which is not easy, but I have to do, I start to liberate myself from myself. And I enter into the oceans of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the beautiful spiritual gifts that he has in store. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you and blesses me on this journey. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly keeps us on this journey. It never ends. You never enter or you never arrive at a state, no matter how great you are as a sheikh or how great you are as a teacher, in which this journey is done. It goes until your last breath. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us all with the most beautiful gifts. And that gift is that the last breath we take in this earth, we say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah.